Multi award winning British filmmaker Roland Joffrey chatted into Kenya recently for the promotion of his latest movie, The Abbey Dragons. <laughs> The epic film tells the story of a Spanish journalist Robert who is mending relations with his dying father Manolo who took part in the Spanish Civil War. And on the left, your father. Dad? I found out that you were in a seminary with Jose Maria Escriva. I warn you, leave it alone, Roberto. The journalist discovers through his investigations that his father was a close childhood friend of Jose Maria Escriva, a priest and candidate for sainthood with whom he had a complicated relationship. This is an announcement from your government. There has been a military uprising. A new world will be born from the blood of the old. Courage to burst from our cages and set ourselves free or die in the attempt. Roland Joffet and Bills a plot around the themes of forgiveness and reconciliation in the movie. Father, they started killing priests. We have to leave. It's suicide to stay. Now, especially now, we have to be source of peace. That costume of yours won't protect you anymore. I don't wear this for protection. In his first stop at Kiander School, the director shared the main message of the movie with excited students. So what's the story of Jose Maria about? Well, it could be about many things, but for me it was about one very, very important thing, which is human frailty. It would be interesting to me, it was interesting to me, to tell a story about what I think is the most difficult thing for human beings to do. The first one is love. This is a funny thing, but it's a lot easier to hate than it is to love. Well, that's awful, but it's true. Love, actually, is the most fertile, the most rewarding, and the most rich of human experiences. The second thing that's really, really difficult is to forgive. I remember watching an extraordinary program on CNN, and um, a woman was being interviewed, and she was a Rwandan woman. And the CNN interviewer, who was a sort of blonde, I thought rather ditzy woman, <laughs> in the way that CNN can be, with her microphone, said, I'm sitting here having tea with Mrs. X, and Mrs. X is very extraordinary, and the camera's on Mrs. X, so because she's having tea with Mr. Y, and the camera goes to a young man sitting there, and she says, and this man killed her entire family. But they're having tea together. And then she turns back to the woman, and, and in feeling a bit like I would have felt at that time, she said, but how can you do this? How can you sit and have tea with a man who in front of your eyes killed your husband and your four children? And this woman who was not educated, <coughs> or at least I should rephrase that, hadn't had the advantage of as good an education I'm sure you have here, she said, my children are dead. Therefore I must honour the memory of my children. And why would I let him win by passing on a legacy of hatred? I want my children to be remembered in a legacy of love because I don't want this to happen again. Well, that's strength of character, isn't it? I mean, that's... I looked at this woman and, you know, the tears came to my eyes because this was so truthful what she felt, so strong, you know, and so much what I think it is to be a human being that I was overawed. That's marvellous, and that, in an essence, is what the story is about. Jose Maria, the truth is, we are born alone, and we die alone. All we have in between is suffering. I know what it is to be angry at life. Please be careful where that leads you, Manolo. Not one of us is free from human weakness. The film includes the early life of Jose Maria Escriva, a modern day saint and the founder of Opus Dei, meaning God's work, an institution of the Catholic Church which teaches that ordinary human life is a path to sanctity. I didn't know whose side I was on anymore. After spending his morning with the Kianda School students, the two time Academy Award nominee made his way to Strathmore University where the movie was to be screened. But not before he had a word with journalists who wanted to know the meaning behind the movie's name. There be dragons means anything that's mysterious and that can be the mystery of well what made us is 
is there a God if there is what kind of a God or it may be those inner dragons inside us which are the things we need to fight against sometimes like hatred and fear um, and anger uh, to find other things inside us which might be love, reconciliation, warmth and, and uh, joining together His last stop came at the Strathmore University Auditorium, where just before the screening, he shared his sentiments about his latest work. I describe myself as mostly agnostic, uh, for most of the week anyway, except maybe Wednesday and Thursday, I suddenly think, maybe you're wrong, you know, to be an agnostic. <laughs> maybe that's just being, anything is just easy. So I was very puzzled when the producers of the movie asked me whether I would write a movie about Cosmic Area Receiver. In fact, I first of all said that I didn't think I'd be a very good choice. And they looked at me and said, no, that's not the point. The issue is we think you'd be a very good choice. We don't care so much about what you think. <laughs> Which I rather liked, because I thought that was an elegant way of presenting the conundrum for me. So I decided that I'd do a little bit of research on Cosmic Area, because to tell you the truth, I didn't know very much about it, or really very much about Doctor's Day, except the cliché of things that I'm sure you all know that Doctor's Day runs the world, and if it doesn't run the world, it runs most of it, and if it doesn't run most of it, it runs a lot of it, and it doesn't run a lot of it, it runs all of it, you can see what you know behind it. Of course, I discovered that's not exactly true. Um, <coughs> but in my research with Cosmo Maria, I, I came across something that touched me very much as a human being. And that was Cosmo Maria's wonderful, and I think theologically extremely powerful argument that said that God is to be found in everyday life. And I realised when I thought about that, that didn't really mean that the sort of God was there in the sort of um, bakery, or that God was there in the little shop selling coffee. No, it meant something more than that. It actually meant it was the way in which we deal with life. That in an extraordinary way, the very fact of being alive puts you in the presence of God. Hours later, and the movie ended. So, what did some viewers think? The wonderful rendition of the life of a human being, a clear indication of courage, a clear indication of forgiveness, of a life well lived. It is beautiful to bring out someone's life, someone's passion, in such a creative manner. We always assume religious people have beautiful lives and they never suffer and. You know, the life is really smooth sailing and he brought out it clearly that you know these guys are just like us and these guys go through the same things as us it's a very moving story and I think it's a story that when you think about it makes you come out a more thoughtful person than when you went in and it's exciting of course but I think there's more to movies than that I think the question should be what will the movie find inside me and because a movie can't find anything that's not inside you